What is going on guys? Grave here. Of course, today we got a update for the console version of the Elder Scrolls Online. So this is for Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, of course, PS4 and PS5. I will have the patch notes linked down in the description if you'd like to read over them for yourself for your particular platform. But I just kind of want to go over some of the, you know, just kind of an overview of some of the fixes. I'm not going to go into details about everything, but kind of hit some of the high points of some things people have been discussing lately within the community that they wanted fixed on the console side. They fixed some issues within the clockwork city, did some bugs and things like that. Also tried to fix the issue on console where people were crashing when fighting dragons and elsewhere. Uh, they said, note, there is no, uh, there is another similar crash that can still occur and they're going to fix that in the future update. So if you still crash in elsewhere while fighting dragons, just know that there's still an issue there. They have fixed some of the problem, but not all of it just yet. They've also fixed an issue where you were uh, unable to fish in Rothgar. Now you should be able to fish in Rothgar. A lot of people have been talking about that for about the last month here on console. Uh, they also had a few dungeons and things that they did some work on, mainly uh, just bugs and issues within those dungeons that were not uh, like Red Petal Base, uh, Bastion and Dread Cellar. There was just some things that were not working as intended. They went ahead and got those fixed. Uh, they fixed an issue where some pull abilities such as Fiery Grip and Silver Leash could cause a toning target context to break. Also, uh, Bolt Escape, they fixed a the VO shout that could occur when using the ability in its morphs. And, you know, just a few things like that. Uh, Bracing Anchor fixed an issue where the star bonus was uh, additive instead of multiplicative. Also, Arena's Weapons, the Caustic Arrow, they fixed an issue where it, this set was not retaining its effects after a bar swapping. Also on the PVP side, uh, the Horthgar's Chill, this set now deals 13% of the added physical and spell resistance down from 26. This set ignores mitigation on all targets to ensure it remains as potent tank uh, pushing set and also, uh, or punishing set, excuse me, and fixed an issue where the explosive damage of the set would not uh, be affected by a battle spirit. Some of the things they talked about was within Battlegrounds, all Battleground queues are set to offer deathmatch game modes only. I know some people may not be a fan of this, but I think a lot of us that probably play Battlegrounds can agree on one thing. Most all games turn into deathmatch anyway, even if it's an objective style game. Most people are playing deathmatch uh, death kind of to begin with. I wish they had a queue just for deathmatch and then just for you know the different other kind of game modes that you have within Battlegrounds. That way people can queue for kind of what they want to play. I know a lot of people don't like just going in kind of that random battleground queue and having to play other modes if they want to play, you know, an objective mode or a deathmatch mode. I wish they would just, you know, have a deathmatch mode, an objective mode, that kind of thing. Uh, kind of like some other PvP games, you know, or other, you know, first person shooters, whatever the case may be out there. You know, everybody kind of breaks their playlist down when it comes to exactly what you want to play within that uh, PvP area of the game. Uh, they had some art animation fixes uh, that things were not going right with animations with some of the. Uh, you know, just things in games, some of the mounts, that kind of stuff. They fixed a few audio issues where the leaderboard notification sound would still play when the setting for receiving those notifications was disabled. Uh, fixed an issue where purchasing the vampire skill uh, from the crown store would not increase the skill lines properly. Also, within dun uh, some of the dungeons, City of Ash 2, they fixed an issue where the game would crash in City of Ash 2, especially on PS5. Uh, Sanctum Ophidia. Stonebreaker, they reduce the damage and radius of the Poison Blast ability, which is triggered when players die while affected uh, with the spreading poison. They fixed an issue for the rewards of the worthy mail sent to characters who had not reached their level 50 or higher would not contain items from the new PvP sets introduced with Update 31. So that has now been fixed as well. Uh, furniture items will now block interactions, allowing for doors to be blocked off again in housing. Uh, also correct an issue that prevented the water uh, streaming off the side of the Leo and Fountain round from being visible. I also fixed a few miscellaneous crashes that could happen when leaving an area while a quest is updating waypoint locations. They fixed a rare crash that could happen when observing another player logging out while sheathing your weapon. Fixed the game freeze that could occur when observing two players shoot arrows at each other. And also fixed the crash that could occur on PS5, most commonly when loading into the outpost or moving around Iron Wheel headquarters. And also for the rift, the breaking the coven fixed an issue where you were unable to go through the door in the northern uh, wind mine. Now, of course, there's still some issues in a lot of people's opinion with bar swapping and things. There's been a lot of bar swapping bugs. I know mainly on PlayStation, I have heard people talking about this as well on Xbox, where you just cannot bar swap at all. Or your game lags out so bad that it will not allow you to bar swap. 
even though sometimes visually the game doesn't look laggy to begin with and sometimes it starts getting into a real laggy state after you bar swap and you have to close the game out that kind of thing there was no uh, comment on that yet hopefully that will get fixed in a future update but anyway guys kind of want to let you know exactly what went on with the day's update like i said if you want to read over the patch notes for your particular platform those will be linked down in the description leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliates here on the channel empire jerky and amazon associates and i'll catch you next time peace